In this video, we're going to be using PAA E2 and the Gold Dollar Razor with the Barber's Notch. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using PAA E2, and this is a seasonal release. It'll be available probably throughout March. So if you want to get this one, get it uh, now. This smells like just classic, brute, really nice um, scent. I'll put the notes for you right there. I love this scent. I've always loved the scent of brute. Scent strength right at around the medium, maybe low end of medium. Beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. Uh, the the uh, ingredients we'll put for you right here. This is the regular CK formula, which I find to be excellent. Uh, the CK6 is great. But the regular CK is plenty good enough for me. I always enjoy using that formula. Today, also, we're going to use the Gold Dollar. This is uh, with a barber's notch. And this is just a cheapo I bought on Amazon. I think it was $25 for this and a strop. And Mike Schultz put his edge on it. So we look forward to using your edge again. Mike, Mike hones razors beautifully, in my opinion. So let's get started today. This is just plain water. By the way, I will link the products used below if you're interested, but I want to mention something. I'm not trying to sell you anything ever. So if you want to buy things, please do. If you don't, no problem. If you like PAA, thumbs up. If you don't, no problem with that either. I just use things. I'm showing them to you. I'm never asking you to buy them. So keep that in mind. And if I did ask you to buy them, I would make that very, very clear. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Uh, I'm going to use also today the ice tube pre-shave, which has some menthol. I figure I would just add a little menthol to the party today. Why not? And get some cooling going. The weather is improving. And by improving, I mean getting warmer. So when I took out the trash this morning, it was still around 70 degrees um, Fahrenheit, which is really wonderful for me. I love that warm weather. Just, you know, not having to put on a jacket or anything to go outside go outside and have a seat and make a phone call or just, you know, not having to wear a jacket is awesome. And I am very happy that, I think spring rolls around. I think this coming, I think tomorrow, Saturday is the first day of spring, I do believe, here in the United States. And I am looking forward to that. I can tell you that right now. And the warmer weather that spring brings. Okay, let's wet the face a little more. And I'm getting that menthol cooling, which is great. Got the lather here whipped up in the uh, Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. The brush for today, PAA Switchback 400 with AP Shave, Shave Co. 2 Bed. Not, and as you can see here, no problem with the PAA Classic Crown King formula. Um, I really appreciate that Doug often offers things in both the premium and regular formula. And I wish more artisans would do that. Some do, some don't. But I love that he has these uh, offerings oftentimes in both, because you can get a, you may not know this, you can get the combo, the regular CK soap, which is, I think, very good. <laughs> and, you know, as you can see here, no problems with the lather. And a splash for $35. And that is a good combo price if you get the if you get the bundle. So if you're going to buy the soap and splash from PAA, always get the bundle because you will save money. And I also wish more artisans would follow Doug's lead on that and, and give you a discount if you're buying the set. I think that's awesome. Um, but you know everybody has to do it however they say they see fit and price things accordingly and. I'm certainly not uh, counting anyone else's money, uh, but when you offer a discount on the combo, I think that's just a great service uh, and value to the customer. So thank you, PAA, for that. And let's get going. Now that our hand is dry with our edge today, we expect it to be very, very good. As is, yeah, that is lightning smooth. No surprise. Tell you what, when I use, every time I use one of Mike's edges, I realize I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a lot more work to do. Honey. 
it's a good feeling and a bad feeling. It's good because it's like, oh, this is a great edge, but it's bad because it's like, oh, I'm nowhere close. <laughs> you know, mine are uh, coming along. I'm trying to have a light touch up there because I'm not stretching. Mine are coming along, but this one is just, this is crazy sharp and smooth. And Mike consistently has produced edges for me that are perfect for my preference. And, and again, while my edges are getting better and I'm liking each one more and more, they're not here. <laughs> oh man, this one feels like you, you can just, it's like, a, it feels like a wick with that Kismet blade. That's how refined this edge is. And again, this is just a cheap old gold dollar razor with cheap steel. But man, that is a fantastic edge. I need, I got a lot more to learn. <laughs> and again, it's good and bad because uh, sometimes when you use an edge that's this good, you can get discouraged because you realize you're not where you need to be. But on the other hand, Gives you something to shoot for. Well, we, that is nice. It's just planking those hairs like nothing. I knew this would be good because I just sort of tree chopped the hair on my leg. In other words, just not against the skin, but away from the skin, just went up like that. And it was just like, blink, blink, blink. You know, mine's not there. <laughs> my edge. But, Again, what it does do is give you something to shoot for, so that's great. Phenomenal edge, Mike, once again, no surprise. And I had Mike hone a few edges for Marion, or one for Marion, one for David, and I look forward to seeing what you guys think, because honestly, I've tried lots of good edges. Um, I don't know the number, but I've got a list, and it's at least... 25, I want to say. And Mike's edge, for me, is in a consistent manner the best edge that I've ever tried for my use case. Now, don't get me wrong. You may find that you prefer a different edge, but for what I like, his is the best that I've tried out of all, including people who do it for money. Um, it is just super refined, it's like a lightning uh, lightsaber, sharp, um, no tugginess, very smooth, no roughness. I got a lot to learn. Now that said, um, my own edges are perfectly satisfactory, but they're not here. <laughs> and I've tried, I, I, uh, I have tried just really great edges from, you know, people who are considered the best in the game. And Mike's Edge, for me, is uh, my favorite. And so, and that is not a knock on anybody else's whose Edge I've tried, by the way. Because, just like with the DE Blades, I think you'll find that you have preference in your Straight Razor Edge also. Now listen to that thing cut. Like scraping toast there that's a little brown. Magnificent. But anyway, you'll find that your edge preference varies. So you may not want it to this level of sharpness. You may want it a little more, they call it buttery. A little smoother. But this one is quite smooth as well. Nice. I like my edges to be as close and sharpness to a machine blade as possible. That's what I prefer personally, because primarily over the years, I've used uh, machine blades. And so that's what my skin is used to. And so that's my preference for a straight razor edge as well. Something close to that level of sharpness while not feeling rough. That's what I, that's what I look for. And I find that Mike's Edges is really puts it there. But that said, 
I've used a lot of great edges that I also appreciate. I'm not gonna go through and name every single person because there's too many to name. There's at least 25 on my list, like I said. And I really haven't, apart from the ones I've gotten on eBay, I haven't really had a lot of bad edges. Uh, that Naked Armor edge was bad, really bad. Some of the eBay ones were just not to my liking, but not necessarily bad. Even myself, I've only had one edge that I put on a razor that was bad, that I stopped with. Um, and so I haven't really tried a lot of bad edges. I say most people, and especially those who you've heard of, home pretty well and can uh, produce a passable edge for you. And then of course you have people who've done it a lot who are quite good at it. You know, the people that you hear about all the time. But a lot of the, even the novice guys who haven't done it very long, um, put good edges on razors also. So it's just a matter of preference, just like with a DE blade, if you're a DE shaver, finding that edge that you really like. But Mike here, Tell you what, he's, his edges are phenomenal. And I know he's gonna be uh, probably sitting back there. Um, he's a pretty modest guy. Uh, so he'll, he'll probably, you know, he's not one of those guys that, that is a, would gloat or he'll probably say, oh, I'm just learning, you know, but I'm telling you, he's there. He's completely there. And I am nowhere close <laughs> right at this moment, but this gives me something to shoot for. So in that respect, it's a it's a fun thing. And he also, uh, I had him hone my Ace of Spades also. And so I know that one's gonna have a brilliant edge on it. And it'll be awesome to compare and just see how that goes. Again, we haven't spoke much about the soap today. The CK4, or I don't know why I'm calling it CK4, regular Crown King formula. No problem whatsoever. Lathers really nicely. No problem. It could probably use a little bit of hydration, actually. It could paint a little more water into it. Um, this formula is perfect for me. Uh, occasionally, I'll get the CK6. I don't really need it. This one here has everything that I need in a soap. Now, you may strongly prefer the CK6. And again, that is okay. No problem with that. Buy whichever one you like, buy none of them. It's completely up to you, but this is a good soap and it smells great. And um, I had intended to buy this one last year. And this was always available at PAA and then last year he uh, discontinued it. And now he's brought it back as a seasonal. And I'm, an, I'm imagining that you will see this probably every year in March. So my advice to you, if you want it this year, get it before the end of this month. Um, and I'll have the link for you below if you are interested. I'll have a link for this razor as well. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, if you get a good edge on it, really nice shaver, it's got some heft to it. And you can hear now there's not much sound left. A Little bit there, just a little bit when I'm sort of torquing the razor a little bit, but Man, oh man, what an edge. Whew. I'm sorry, I've been very distracted by, <laughs> by this edge today. Wow, we, what a nice edge. Very nice indeed. And let's finish up here with a nice across the grain on the cheeks. Hmm. Completely happy with this edge. If I had put this edge on this razor, I would be doing backflips all over the place. <laughs> or attempting to, let's put it that way. I would be jumping for joy, but this is beyond my level of skill at this moment. And I recognize that. And it's okay, because I'm very much in the learning process. But uh, I've enjoyed it. And I am really enjoying the uh, Et Two with that ice cube. Ice tube, rather, menthol. Very nice. Wow. 
What an enjoyable shave today, and I hope all of you, wherever you are, are having great shaves as well today. Just super enjoyable. That's like a lightsaber. The only question is which color lightsaber would it be? Would it be red or green or blue? I don't know, but it's good, I can tell you that. Very nice. I wanna mention the other day, I mentioned Paul Speller, um, and I was telling you he's new, and I've gotten to know him some, so I mentioned his channel, and I forgot to, uh, it looks like I created a little weeper right there. That's rare. I don't do that much these days, but with an edge this sharp, you can certainly do that. I might have done it there too. That one is so, so sharp, I've been uh, careless and cavalier with it. I'm shaving with it like it's my edge, and this one you gotta be <laughs> a little more careful. But anyway, uh, I forgot to link his channel in the video where I mentioned him, and also Jimmy from uh, NYC Wet Shaving is getting close to a thousand. I will link those two below. And if I ever mention something and don't link it, please mention it in the comments because sometimes I forget. That was a phenomenal shave, even though I got careless there towards the end. Um, really phenomenal edge, extremely sharp. And uh, you know, if you're not being careful with these sharp blades, you'll get a little reminder there. So be careful. Today I got a little bit careless, but honestly, I'm real happy with the shave because this edge was great and the soap was great. So, you know, on that, fantastic. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse. We followed that with the PAA Alm, no burning. Even in the spot where, right there where I got the weeper and then I actually scalped a bump uh, right there. No burning at all. So that was a super smooth edge. After the alum, uh, we used or did a cold water rinse. That was a really excellent shave, despite um, having the weeper and beheading the bump there. Normally, I wouldn't call that an excellent shave, but this one, it was just <laughs> so smooth and so nice. It, it was an excellent shave. I generally would not do that, but today I am calling it an excellent shave. Okay, et two, which smells like brute, if you're familiar with that aftershave. Uh, get it before the month is out of March. Really, really nice brute scent. I loved it. Big thumbs up on that. The edge by Michael Schultz again, fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. The razor here is a gold dollar, just with a barber's notch, got that on Amazon. Again, I'll have links below. We used the ice tube today for some nice menthol. It was awesome. We used the PAA Switchback 400 with AP Shave Code Knot. Of course, our Captain's Choice uh, lathering bow, and we shall close it out today with the PAA F2 Splash. Again, if you're gonna get both the soap and the splash, make sure you do the combo. You will save some money. We shake it up, and what I do is take the cap off like this, put the index finger, easy for you to say, over the top, hand out, boom. No problem. Not wasting any, it's no problem at all. I find it easier to do it that way than to turn it all the way upside down, but that's the way I do it. Anyway, I wanna thank you all for joining me for this really enjoyable shave, or at least for me. I hope you enjoyed it too, and I hope you enjoy your shaves. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.